OCO, my name is Shanice DeCloud. I work for the Cherokee Nation Cultural Resource Center. The following video is part of our new education series geared toward assisting teachers set up their own cultural activities in the classroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a basket start. This is the hardest part of getting a basket going, and it takes a little practice, but once you've got this part down, it'll, it's real simple to make as many baskets as you want. We're going to be using basket reed like this. This is size number two or 1.75 millimeter. You'll also need a pair of scissors and you'll need a tub or a bucket full of water. I'm going to pull some of my reed out of the water. These are cut into sections about 25 to 30 inches long. Longer sections, of course, will make a bigger basket. But for use in a classroom, around 25 inches is approximately long enough. We're going to start with 12 of these. I've also got some extra spokes soaking in the water. That's what we call these sections here. These are spokes. And I have some coils of reed rolled up and soaking in the water that I'll use as runners to form the basket. So we start with these 12 pieces and I'm going to just kind of line them up and try to get them as uniform as possible. Now I'm going to split them in half and I'm going to have six pieces on top of six pieces. So it's six over six. So we have six spokes over six spokes and I'm going to just kind of measure these and make sure they're roughly even. It doesn't have to be perfect. I hold them up like this to make sure they're even on both sides. I'll do the same here and adjust them just a little bit. About there should be good. Okay, so now I have this section is underneath this section. And here's where it starts to get tricky. You're having to hold all of this in one hand and keep it together while forming the basket start itself. So because we need an uneven number of spokes for our basket start, we're going to start adding in spokes. So I'm going to take one of my extra spokes that's soaking in the water. I'm going to put it under my thumb and bring it up here to line up with, these, with this top layer. So this is going to be an added in spoke. And you'll see what I mean in a minute about having that odd number. So I've got this one lined up up here. So now I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it off right there where it crosses over. Okay, so I don't need that section anymore. Now I'm going to take one of my runners and unwind it. Now the runner is also going to form one of the spokes. So it's going to start on the opposite side of that other addition. I'm going to lay it under my thumb right there and I'm going to make sure it meets up with these up here and make sure it's the same length. Okay, so now this piece here is my runner. I'm going to take it and bend it under this section of spokes so it comes out here and then it's going to bend over the top of these 
So this is kind of tricky. I'm going to push down on this section with my thumb. Take my other thumb and hold on to it. Now this runner goes down and underneath this section and comes back up. And I'm trying to keep all of this as tight as I possibly can. Like I said, this takes some practice and it can be kind of tricky. And then I'm going to go back down and under. Okay, so now you can see I've gone around once. I'm going to do that two more times. So I'm going to go over and then back under, over again, and then back under again. So that's my second time around. I'll do this one more time. Okay, so now I'm back to where I started. I've gone around three times, and now that's holding all these spokes together. Now I'm going to start separating these pieces to form the actual spokes that we'll, you'll be able to see when you start weaving your basket. So we start by going under the first set. Each set of spokes is made up of two pieces of reed. So we're going to go under the first set. I'm just going to separate those out by my, with my thumb. I'm going to push down on the next two pieces of reed. And I'm going to go over those. And then I'm going to go under that next set. So the first time you go around, you go under, over, under. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the next section. So I went under on this last one. So now I'm going to start by going over. So I'm going to separate out these two pieces of reed here, and push those down, and go over. And the next two will be under. And the next two will be over again. So I'm just using my fingers to kind of push those reeds out of the way. For right now, we're not spreading them apart. We're just keeping them straight. We'll start to spread them apart on the next round. Okay, so again, I went under on this last one. So now I'm going to go over, under, over. Okay. And then one more time, I was over on this one, so I'm going to go under, over, and then under again. Now we've come to the point where we're going to start to spread these spokes out so that we can start to form the actual start. So I'm just going to take this first section here, I'm going to move them over a little bit, and weave over the top. And remember, I'm keeping all of this really good and tight, pushing everything in toward the center as I go. Okay, and then we're going to go under this next one. It really doesn't have to be moved very much. I'm going to pull this one out like that and weave over the top of it. And we're always going opposite of the last row. So here's where having that uneven number of spokes comes in. If you have an odd number of spokes, every time you go around, you'll always be going opposite of the last row. If we had an even number of spokes, we'd always run into a snag where we came back around and we were going the same direction. We would go, be going over twice or under twice. It's a little complicated, it's a little tricky to pick up the first few times, but once you get the hang of making these starts, it's not too bad. But I'm just going to keep going around, separating those out as I go, weaving over and under. This is where you start to see your basket actually forming. Sometimes this reed can be really stiff, even if it's soaked for a while. Sometimes it can be really flimsy, like wet noodles. It just depends. It's a natural material. It comes from a plant. So it just depends on what role you get as to how it's going to work for you. But sometimes you really have to bend and flex this reed to get it to work the way you want it to. But again, I'm just going around, over, under, over, under, always going opposite of the last row. Okay, so I've come back around to where I started. And all these reeds look kind of, all these spokes look kind of floppy. But that's okay, because as we add more to it, they'll straighten out. So now I'm going to go around about 
three or four more times. Just going over, under, over, under. Keeping everything tight toward the center. And if it ever starts to feel dry or it starts to look kind of white in color, you can always dunk it in the water to soften it up a little bit more. We like to keep everything damp, at least damp. That way this reed will flex and it won't break on you. You can already start to see that basket forming. This is the pattern that the students are going to use as they form their basket. All right, I think I've gone around enough times that you can kind of see that over under pattern already. And this is as far as you need to go. This will give the students a good opportunity to build on their basket from here. So once you're done with this part, you're going to take the rest of your runner and you're just going to kind of coil it up and tuck this in like that. And this way you can make several of these. And I usually just lay it on a table or a flat surface. <clears throat> that way it can flatten out a little bit as it dries. But there you go. That's how you're going to make a basket start for your Cherokee round reed baskets. Wado for your time to learn about Cherokee culture and history. Share what you learned today with someone else. For more information, contact Cherokee Nation Education Services Cultural Resource Center at education at cherokee.org or 918-453-5000 and ask for education services.